Best seen French toast. French toast. Pierce. Interior, kitchen table, 1950s house, morning. Close up of a table. Female hand slides plate of eggs, bacon, and French toast into view. Dang, this looks good, honey. You know I love your French toast. Pierce is dressed in a white dress shirt and dark blue tie. He is sitting down at the kitchen table, looking down at his food. His wife, Babs, is standing next to him. Babs is dressed in a 1950s era sundress, complete with doily apron. After all these years, I know exactly what you like, dear. She smiles and bends low to kiss him on the cheek. Then she briefly walks out of the kitchen. You want to read the newspaper while you eat? She steps into the room, holding the folded paper. Uh, no, gee, honey, I, I wish I could, but I, I really gotta hurry. Got a big meeting with the board of trustees today. That's okay, honey. I'll put it with your briefcase, and you can read through it after your meeting. The temperature in the room starts to increase, and Pierce begins to feel uncomfortable. Say, honey, can you check the thermostat? It feels really stuffy this morning. It's set to 75 like you had it, honey. Do you want me to bump it down a bit for you till you leave? Yeah, will you? It has to be my nerves. I'm burning up in here. Here's your coffee. Pierce takes a sip, then flinches back. Dang, that's hot. He almost spills it on himself, sets it on the table, and puts one hand to his lips as if they've been scalded. Pierce's 12-year-old son, James, enters. James is dressed in a blue and white striped shirt. Hey, Pop! James sits down with cereal. Then, off-screen, we hear him spooning it up and slurping as he eats. There is suddenly a loud boom outside. Pierce pulls back the curtains and looks out the window. It's extremely bright outside, and he has to shield his eyes for a moment. Everything outside has heat waves coming off of it. A fire hydrant has exploded, and the water is turning to steam as it pours out. You really should sit and read the paper, dear. Not now, honey. You have to come look at this. He draws the curtains fully open to expose the whole window. James's spoon can be heard hitting the bottom of the bowl. What's wrong, Pops? What's wrong? Did you just see what happened? I'm gonna have to call the city about this. You should sit and read the paper like Mom says. Are you serious? He suddenly realizes that James's milk has evaporated, but the boy is sitting and eating anyway, repeatedly clanging down into an empty bowl and then slurping up nothing but air. James has heat waves coming off of him. Pierce is disturbed by this and sits down, red-faced and sweating, trying to process all this strangeness. He loosens his tie and wipes sweat from his forehead. Honey, what's the thermostat at now? It's at 75 degrees, just like you like it. That, that can't be. It must be 100 degrees or, or more in here. You should read the paper, Pops. The boy scoops nothing from his bowl. Heat waves like crazy. Not now, son. Don't you see? A sizzling noise can be heard off screen. Pierce looks down and sees his eggs and bacon are cooking again on his plate. His coffee is boiling. Pierce's eyes go wide as panic begins to set in. Another two explosions from outside. Pierce rushes to the window and sees that the neighborhood cars are starting to explode. The grass across the street suddenly catches fire. It must be... It has to be some sort of solar flare or, or, or nuclear war. My God, it's the commies that got us. A sneak attack. He flings the curtains closed. Honey, honey, get the gas masks. Hurry, we have to get to the follow shelter. It's the Red Army. Close up of Pierce's face, sweating, flushed, scalded almost. He's mumbling. Behind him in the blurred background, we see James sitting calmly, still continuing to chomp at nothing. Babs walks in, also blurred. She's already wearing a gas mask. Pierce's eyes are shifting back and forth as he goes over the things to do to prepare for a nuclear war. Babs reaches over and picks up the folded newspaper. You should really sit and read the paper, honey. Pierce's eyes freeze as he's shocked that no one else seems to even be alarmed. His eye twitches slightly. Read the paper. Pierce spins around and sees her holding the paper in front of him. On it is the spinning symbol, the rigid designator. The symbol, the rigid designator. Om, om, om. Pierce's eyes roll back in his head as he begins to wake from hypersleep. Bab's dress catches fire at the bottom, and the wallpaper starts peeling off the walls. 
off screen more explosions outside and white hot light coming from behind smoking curtains. Fade to black. 